I was born in Connecticut, grew up fishing, had a passion for it, just loved it since I was a little kid. My dad and my grandfather used to take me fishing all the time, continued uh, through high school to kind of roll around all over town and and fish every little pond I could with a with a good buddy of mine. After high school, you know, I, I, I kind of knew that college really wasn't for me. I wasn't a huge fan of, of school to begin with. I also grew up just playing guns and cops and robbers and playing army all the time and knew that that was what I wanted to do. So I, I joined the military while I was a senior in high school, did the delayed entry program, got a ranger contract. So I kind of knew I wanted to do something unique in the military. You know, I wanted a chance to go fight for my country and being in special operations gives you that opportunity. So I came in with a Ranger contract. I did seven years in 1st Ranger Battalion, and then uh, I wanted to do even more. And I knew there was a couple other special operations units out there where you had a, a greater chance of doing something and other special operations units were consistently in combat. So I went through a uh, rigorous selection process, made it, got to the unit, moved from Savannah, Georgia to Fort Bragg and was in the unit for just over 14 years, did 14 combat deployments, uh, obviously, I got there right after 9-11, so it was pretty busy. It was a great time. I enjoyed it. I ended up doing 21 years. I retired and still had that passion for bass fishing. I started bass fishing while I was still in the military, started competing and doing tournaments and kind of saw that, you know, I could make a living at this. So I put some focus towards that uh, my last few years in the military and got some good sponsors lined up. And after I retired, that's what I did. I went professionally bass fishing and also did some saltwater fishing. So grew up bass fishing, well, grew up fishing in general, just anything, it didn't matter. I mean, I grew up in New England, so a lot of it was just hopping around to ponds and creeks, doing a lot of trout fishing. I ended up getting into fly fishing. My grandfather gave me a fly rod that he had made and gave me all his fly tying gear. And you know, that's really, that started getting me into bass fishing because bass fishing is so challenging. Every day it's different, the changing conditions, everything that you're doing. And bass is the number one sport fish in the world. So doing some of that just really got my ambition going and that drive that I've always had. A local guy that I fished with talked to me about joining a bass club. And that's really where Again, it, it brought me to that next level because how much I love adrenaline. I mean, I, you know, my military career, special operations, jumping out of airplanes, just love adrenaline. Now add the fishing aspect that I love, you know, bass fishing and racing boats, the competition, you know, against each other and the money that's involved. And, you know, you're, you're trying to win and make a name for yourself. That hooked me right there. And I was very fortunate enough to meet a great friend of mine still to this day, Alan Ransom, who was part owner of Strike King. And Alan really helped me out in the industry. You know, Alan introduced me to so many different brands and so many different companies and really got me started with the whole sponsor deal. You know, I've had numerous uh, different sponsors, rods, reels, whatever it may be. But, you know, once, once Lose came out, I saw something that really drew me to Lose. Not only do they make great equipment, great price point, but they do a lot for the military and they do a lot for first responders. And to me that, you know, that really hit home and it just seemed like, you know, that was a perfect fit. So with my military background, with everything I do, and now that I'm out, you know, competitively bass fishing and doing a lot of different charity work for the military, I thought, man, this is a great relationship that, that I need to have. 
Once Luz and Strike King merged, I mean, that was the writing on the wall. And with Luz having the whole American Hero line, and that line is completely dedicated to giving back to military and first responders, I mean, that's, that's where I come in. So now having the opportunity to be the brand ambassador for American Hero is not only just a great opportunity for me, but it really hits home because that's what I do, that's what I believe in. Luz believes in that. So being able to push that program to the highest level, being able to do even more for military and first responders is, is just a great opportunity for me. And I'm really looking forward to, you know, years and years of a great relationship with that and being able to give back to the military and first responders. I continue to do a lot of different stuff, different charities and things for first responders and for military and veterans. So tying all that together with the Lose brand is, you know, it's an honor for me to be a part of this program. And I'm really looking forward to the next few years of growing the program and being able to donate and do even more for our veterans and first responders.